Assalamu alaikum and thanks for joining today's session. So um, the ultimate goal here today is to give you some overview about the course we are offering so that it helps you to actually to make a decision um, whether you're going to join the upcoming uh, session we have in September 5th. And, and if you have any question, also there will be a chance to give you an answer. All right, so for the convenience, I'm uh, muting everybody. I mean, if you have any question, unmute yourself and ask me. So just as for the convenience to everybody, I'm muting everyone. All right, so, so, uh, if, so the ultimate goal of this session, actually, I assume none of you has any experience on software testing. So that's my expectation that you don't know anything about software testing. Uh, if you do know some, something, that's better. But if you don't know, nothing to worry about. That's the ultimate goal, to give you some insight about the course and what is the benefit of this particular course. So what is software testing? This is basically, it's very self-explanatory. So basically you are testing a software. So what's the intention of testing a software? To make sure there is no defects and the software is working as expected. So that's the ultimate goal is software testing. So whenever we perform testing on a software, there are a few important objectives we need to keep in mind. The first and most important things is finding, finding the defects. The defects means if, whether there is any problem in the software. So that's the ultimate goal that we need to keep in mind. The second um, objective is gaining the confidence about the level of the quality. So let's say you are releasing a software to the customer and without any testing, if you try to release that product to the customer and the customer using that product and they found the issue, what would be the impact of that particular situation? Um, so all of you maybe have, some of you have iPhone, some, some of you have Android. So you're using iPhone, so that's run on software. And let's say Apple didn't test it out properly and you are using the product and you all in a sudden you saw the, the, comp, the enter phone got shut down. And it will really create a bad impact on, uh, as a customer on yourself. So here, the, if we do proper testing, it actually really gaining the confidence about the level of the quality. When the company saw that, that we have done in and out thoroughly testing of a particular software, in that case, the company really gained the confidence that no, it's gonna really create a good impact on the customer when it goes to the customer. The third important objective is providing information for decision making. So things can happen. Let's say you are testing a software. So before the release, you found a major defect that, that might create a huge um, a bad reputation in, in, the, in the customer mind. So you give this information to the company, decision makers, stakeholders, and based on the information, the company might postpone the release. If they want to release in near future, they might think, okay, until the uh, bug is get fixed, we're not gonna release this product to the customer. So we are actually playing a, such a uh, cru crucial role in terms of dealing with the customer, and also not only the customer, also the the stakeholders, all the top people in the company who actually make the decision whether this product should go to the customer or not. So based on those information, they will make a decision. And the final objective is like preventing defects. So let's say you found the defects today. So in future, if similar kind of things happen, the, the, developer, the, the developer will keep in mind, okay, this kind of issue we have faced earlier. So make sure we're not gonna do similar kind of mistakes. So based on the earlier experiences, the de developer and the entire company get a lessons and they try to take the proper action so that same kind of similar kind of mistakes they do not do. So this is a very important objective that we need to keep in mind as a tester when we test our software. So now let's actually take a short video. I, I found out this person really explains well actually why software testing, why we need to test the software. Let's take a look. Uh, give me a second, please. Welcome back, aliens. My name is David Betty, and in this video, we'll talk about software testing. To be specific, we'll talk about the importance of software testing. 
Now, as a developer, you know, when we have this different mindset, we think about converting the requirement into code, right? And it should work. So basically, whenever you have a client or when you build your application for yourself, which people will use, so you have certain requirements in your mind and what you think, okay, let's, let me design it. So that's what we do, right? We follow a software development life cycle, maybe the waterfall, let's say. So what you will do, you will have a set of requirements with you and then you will convert that into designs, maybe on paper, the class diagrams and all the stuff. And then you will start writing code. And that's amazing, right? The moment you put your fingers on keyboard and when you start the work, you enjoy it. And that's amazing, right? We start building stuff. Now the thing is, once you complete your project, you will be giving your project to the to, to everyone to use, right? And now those people will test your software. In fact, they will be using your software and then they will find bugs. And of course, right, when you, the moment you write a code, you also get bugs. In fact, there's a joke about this. Example, let's say when you said, what is debugging? So debugging is removing bugs, right? Then what is coding? So if debugging is removing bugs, then coding is adding bugs. So the more code you write, the more bugs you will create. And then your user will say, okay, this is not working, this is not working. It was working with this way, but it's not working in the other way. Uh, so that's the problem which they face. And now you'll be saying, okay, that's fine. This is my first version, so I can, I can have bad code here. But that's not the case. The problem is when you talk about the industry now, every industry is dependent upon IT industry. So something like, let's say if you talk about banks, they are dependent on our softwares. In fact, the entire banking system works with softwares. Uh, the entire hospitals nowadays, uh, their database and everything works with softwares. In fact, there are some medical machines which works with software. What about the flight? So let's say if you are going from Mumbai to Delhi and then you're in the flight, the cockpit works with the software, right? So things are automated there as well. Now this is where things get a bit crucial, right? Because let's say if you are playing a game, so let's say there's a software and you're playing a game and something goes wrong, your software will crash and that's fine, right? You can just restart the game. Yes, it, if it is PUBG, uh, you will not like it. But let's say a normal software, that's fine. But software in planes, software in medical, they are very crucial, right? If something goes wrong, you are risking lives. Now think about this, you are in a plane and then uh, it works on a software and then some guy written that code and now it is not tested. What simply means you will be getting some bugs on the flight, right? So your plane will go down and we all go up. That's the problem, right? So we so testing a software is very, very, very important. Now, when, when you say testing, how, you, how will you test it? In fact, we all do it, right? So no one just build a project and give it to the client. That's not what we do. So what we do, and we will open the code and we'll check each and every line, but that's not how you test a thing, right? Because when you write a code, of course, you will, be, you will not see any bugs there. And that's why we have a peer review. So your friend, he will test your software and then he will find, okay, there, there is some problem here, there's some problem here because they have a different mindset, right? It is written by you. So of course, there should be some bugs. That's one way. But there's a problem here as well, right? Uh, and then we, all, we also have a way of testing. We can actually write a code and then we, uh, we, we print statements, right? So every time you, you, you do something and then you test it by printing something on the screen, but that's one way. But the problem is the moment you have a big code, it will be difficult for you to track each and every method or a class. And that's why we have something called automated testing. So we have manual testing, automated testing. So in manual, you have to do, you have to test everything manually, right? So you have to create test cases, you have to test them and you have to put the results in the Excel sheet. On the other hand, we have automation testing. In automation, you write script, which will test your software. So it is like software testing a software. And that's amazing, right? So it is faster, plus it will give you efficient results. Because in manual testing, you might miss something. In automation, when you mention everything, it will, it will be testing everything. So make sure when you build a project or when you build a software, also test it properly. In the next video, I will try to... All right, so some of the things you might relate, some of the things might not relate. So what is automation testing, manual testing, I'm gonna explain in a bit, but at least you get the idea why software testing is really important. And that's the next topic we're gonna actually talk about it. Because think about it, I mean, if the software is actually, is not, it has a poor quality of the software and there's a lot of problem in the software, what can actually it might impact? It might impact the entire business reputation and the customer relationship. So some of the software is so critical because the software that we are using in airlines, in an airplane, so the software we are using in a bank or in a hospital, that might cause even life because if there's a problem in the software, so those are the things can be really dangerous. So some of the historical software failures that we can take a look because some of the failures, you know, so, um, uh, how to say, um, 
overrated. So in the world, we get to know these are the failures. So Nissan cars, one of the biggest failure in the Nissan car industry that they, they have an airbag sensory failure. Due to that problem, they had two accidents reported. So what Nissan did, actually they recall their 1 million cars from the market. Think about it, 1 million of cars, they recall from the market how much money they lose on that particular situation. Because they didn't test it out, the software properly, which is run the airbag uh, sensor. Another Starbucks is all of us, we know this company and they also had a, one of the major failures. So what happened? The system they use, POS system, actually they, they had an issue in the system. And due to that problem, they have pretty much 60% of the store in US and Canada, they were like serving free coffee to the customer because on that particular moment, the software wasn't working. Another system, another, um, one of the known failure that happens in Amazon. So all of us pretty much, we know the Amazon e-commerce website. So the retailers of the Amazon, they saw that their price of the product reduced to one penny due to software glitch. And think about it, if there is a millions of third party consumer and their product, they saw the price drop to one penny. It is, if you combine in total, it's actually serious loss. So, this is another video that actually shows actually that some of the historical failure that due to happen because of the software defects. What is software testing? Software testing is a process to identify the correctness, completeness, and quality of developed computer software. It includes a set of activities conducted with the intent of finding errors in software so that it could be corrected before the product is released to the end users. In simple words, software testing is an activity to check that the software system is defect free. Why is testing important? This is China Airlines Airbus A300 crashing due to a software bug on April 26, 1994, killing 264 innocent lives. Software bugs can potentially cause monetary and human loss. History is full of such examples. In 1985, Canada's Therac-25 radiation therapy machine malfunctioned due to a software bug and delivered lethal radiation doses to patients, leaving three people dead and critically injuring three others. In April of 1999, a software bug caused the failure of a $1.2 billion military satellite launch, the costliest accident in history. In May of 1996, a software bug caused the bank accounts of 823 customers of a major U.S. bank to be credited with 920 million U.S. dollars. As you see, testing is important because software bugs can be expensive or even dangerous. As Paul Ehrlich puts it, to err is human, but to really foul things up, you need a computer. All right, so just to emphasize on this point, right? I mean, how critical this software testing? Because you wanna enroll yourself in a career, you want to know that what is the importance of this particular area. Uh, without knowing the full concept, it might, be not, it might, not, might not be a wise idea, um, to pursue a career in such a field. So as, as a software engineer, test engineer actually, we are playing such a critical role in the company because the company actually, the checkpoint is the software test engineer. If they say that everything is good, working fine, then the company will make a decision whether they're gonna release the product or not. If the team say no, uh, there is a major bug in this particular product that the company make a decision that, okay, we need to postpone the release so that Whenever the bug gets fixed, then we're going to release to that customer. So it's, it's such a um, critical role that in future, if you become, if you pursue as a career in software test engineer, you're going to play in a software industries. So, all right. So once you fi finish this course, what will happen? So let's see the careers in software testing, what happens. So once you, once you become software test engineer, you, be you basically like, have a high demand in both in local and global job markets. What are the top industries they are hiring these software test engineers? So airless industries, financial industries, 
it means all the all the banks you name it car industry and many more companies has always demand for the good software test engineer now let's come to the salary portion like how much a software test engineer makes in usa so if you join as a beginner level um, in a company as a software test engineer your maiden salary would be sixty thousand yearly and if you are a mid-level um, software test engineer which is you have like four to five years of experience your salary is going to be ninety thousand years dollar or if you consider yourself at the senior level the salary is more than hundred thousand yearly so it's pretty significant amount of money that in terms of salary portion as a software engineer you'll have the opportunity to make. Not only that, if you uh, think yourself as a freelancer, that you don't wanna work for any company, you wanna work in a, as a freelancer. So freelancer, basically, um, you work uh, independently. You do not bound to any company. You get a project and work for that particular situation. So here, one of the uh, website, basically this is the freelancing website, so it's tell you um, this particular website, like how to get a project. So if you want to see yourself as a freelancing opportunity. And here, I mean, if we take a look here, so if we search software test engineer, software testing. Take a look here. So these are the candidate who is looking for the opportunity. They build their profile and they say the information how much they earn how much they're going to charge hourly so these are the freelancer basically they charge this much and you, you can see a lot of portfolio like whoever pursuing their career as a freelancer so yes you have the opportunity if you see yourself as a freelancer if you don't want to work for any company because it might happen that if the market is down, you might not getting the right position at that particular moment. So what are you gonna do? You have the opportunity to work as a freelancer. So now I'll have to share the job statistics actually in this particular field. So this is, uh, this data I pull out from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. So this is the field that uh, we're gonna pursue our career, software quality assurance testers, analysts and testers. So this data came up on May 2019, as you see here. So the total number of employees is close to 1.4 million employment happened on that particular year. So the, and the salary range, hourly range is, this is the average, $53. And as you see here, a couple of information, the, what are the companies they hired the most number of software test engineer. So these are the industries actually they hire the breakdown, they show the breakdown, which industry hire, what number of employment. And this is another uh, demographic wise. So California is the one, number one state, they hired this number of employee on that particular year. And as you see, what is the salary range on whoever got job in California? Then second was Texas, then New York, and Washington, Virginia. So, you can Google yourself just to get some idea. So actually how much employment happened on that particular area and what was the maiden salary and all the information. This is public. Anybody can search that information to get some idea. All right, so let's talk about our, a little bit our company profile. So as all of you know, our company name is QATX Solutions. Um, this company formed in 2016. Me and my friend actually um, formed this company. With the help, with the idea of pro, um, providing training on software testing. So our ultimate goal was to uh, help out um, the people who doesn't have an IT background. Yeah, if there is somebody has IT background, that's perfect. That would be an easy path for them to pursue a career. But there's a lot of other uh, well candidate. They do not. They don't have an IT background or computer science background. But they still want to look for an opportunity in IT industry. So these are the, this is the field, one of the field that can really help them out to look for the job in, in, in the IT world. And a little bit of about me, um, I finished my bachelor's uh, in IT, information technology back in 2007. I studied in Malaysia, so I'm certified software tester. So there is a international uh, software testing qualification board in USA. 
So if anybody wants to be certified, um, that all, you can also pursue that, uh, give the exam, and if you pass the exam, you're gonna be certified holder software test engineer. At, at this moment, I'm working in software engineering test um, down here in Miami. And previously I worked for some of the company, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Wells Fargo. So it's almost 10 years um, I've, I've been working in this industry and my top skill is basically test automation with Selenium. I'm gonna go a bit later about the test automation part. <clears throat> and my assistant instructor is gonna be uh, Muhammad Fariduddin and he also has a bachelor's in IT. He studied in um, uh, USA and you, he's also a software test, a certified test holder. And currently he's working for the home improvement company Lowe's um, and he has some experience working with some of the other company like Dish TV in, in early. Yeah, and his skills also, uh, automation, his top skills. All right, so let's take a look at our course des description. So the course we are offering, the upcoming um, batch is software testing with Selenium. And the total duration is 12 weeks, is 96 hours. And the class is only weekend only, Saturday and Sunday. So the class is started at 10 a.m. and is gonna end it up 2 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So what is the prerequisite? So basically, if you have a bachelor's degree from any discipline, that's a huge plus because um, most of the company in the job requirements, they put in that the candidate should have a bachelor's degree. So as long as you have a bachelor's degree from any discipline, it doesn't have to be a, from IT or computer science, that's good enough. Second is if you have a basic computing knowledge, that's, um, that's good enough for, for you to enroll this course. What does it mean basic computing knowledge? If you know Microsoft Office, how to use Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, um, then PowerPoint slides. Then if you know how to use email and if you know how to search something in internet using Google, that would be really helpful. Because if you don't have those basic knowledge, it's really hard for us to train you all those basic things because the course duration is totally dedicated to teach you the things you need to know to get a job as a software tester. And the third one is proficiency in English. Since we are all living in the United States, the interview would be in English. So if your communication skill is really good, that is always a huge plus because when you talk to somebody, if you're clear enough and the person understand you, what you are trying to say, that is always a huge plus for any person. So communication and proficiency in English will be added, added uh, benefit to your, to getting a job at ASAP. So what will happen? What is the key takeaway? So once you finish the course, basically we're gonna give you a course completion certificate. Second thing, expert on software testing. So once you finish this course successfully, you can claim yourself, you know software testing to perform the job and ready for the IT job. So you will be ready for the job hunting in software testing, testing field. And some of the tools we're gonna use, I mean, yeah, you, some of you might have some idea, maybe not, it doesn't really matter. Just wanna sh give you the list of the tool that we're gonna use. So we're gonna use uh, one of the tool called Jira uh, is for issue management. Then for database, we're gonna use PostgreSQL. For API testing, we're gonna use Postman. For programming language, we're gonna teach you Java. Then automation, we're gonna teach you Selenium. Then source course management, we're gonna use GitHub. And the final one is Jenkins, which is CI/CD, continuous integration and continuous development tool. All right, so these are the class schedule. Um, so just to be clarify, what, how we're gonna tackle each and every courses. So our next batch is starting on September 5th. So it's a three months of um, courses. So as you see, week one is gonna be manual testing. Week two is gonna be also manual testing. Week three is manual testing. So it's a breakdown, which and what kind of uh, subject we're gonna teach on every week. So, and as you see, every part of the um, section, there will be exam and you need to pass the exam. So basically our expectation, you should score 80% on the exam. So if you do the lecture notes, if you follow all the class materials instruction, there shouldn't be an issue. Basically the ultimate goal to prepare you for the future job. So 
if all together if we combine <clears throat> everything is going to end up pretty much end of november so the final week basically we're going to help you out for the job interview preparations all right so a little bit of testing so as you understand as of now what is software testing what is the importance of software testing so now that there is two kind of testing in software testing so one is manual and another is automation testing so manual is basically any testing you perform manually as a human being you manually test the product that is called manual testing the automation testing basically a software is going to test the software so if i take a look here in one of the example here here, this is one of the website is mortgage calculator. So it's what, what does it do is that basically calculating the mortgage rate, your total monthly payment. So let's say if you work as a manual tester, so and somebody and the company you work for, they give you this website. So what do you, how are we gonna perform manual testing? So basically you're gonna enter the home value, you're gonna enter the down payment, then you're gonna enter the loan amount, interest rate. So all this information you're gonna enter manually. So finally, whenever it's done, you're gonna click on the calculate and you validate that the total monthly payment is matches whatever it's supposed to do because all this calculation generate a number. So based on the information requirements, they will tell you if you enter this info, you should get this information. So think about that. This is good, you're testing manually. So over and over different, different value you're testing. It's actually taking some time. But yeah, you get the things done, but it's taking more time, more concentration, and occupying more people. So this is manual testing. And what if, if we do the automation for the same thing? So automation, basically, you need a little bit of skill set because you need to write a software, you need to write a code that will do this calculation by itself. So, but you need to know how to write the code. So I'll give a small demo like this test I'm showing that if I run in automation, how the things look like, you will take a look. Okay, so it's opening the page and you see it's entering all the field by itself done so it really ran so fast yeah if you see at least a few navigation that's good enough so now the things is completed now if i take a look the results the automation execution results there we go so it took total 12 seconds as you see here so i just ran one test so entire suite it took 12 seconds from top to bottom. So as you see, so how efficient the skill set that will really help you out in the job market. So these are the things also we're gonna train you, we're gonna teach you. All right, so the next thing we're gonna see, like what are the different kind of testing? I mean, this is, these are the testing that we're gonna train you in the class because when you join as in a company as a software test engineer, you need to know various kind of testing because otherwise you're not you're not gonna perform the accurate testing for accurate things so these are the different kind of testing that smoke testing functional testing regression testing yeah if you don't have any testing background it's hard to relate what is the different kind of testing that that is meaning uh, but we're gonna cover all these things then we're gonna uh, provide you training on back-end testing so back-end testing basically um, database testing. So all the data is stored somewhere, basically as a test engineer, we need to test that as well. And another piece is API testing. API basically is connecting the database and the front end. That layer also we need to test it out as a test engineer. And we're gonna train you also one of the SDLs, the software development lifecycle model. Um, so the most popular model at this moment in the software industry is Scrum. So we're going to train you in the entire Scrum uh, SDLC model, how the model works, what is the roles and responsibility, and as a tester, how we're going to involve yourself in that particular model. 
And the final part is the course fees. This is also important information that what kind of service we provide and what are the things uh, you're gonna get from this uh, course. So our original course fee was $3,000, but we are giving the promotion. So the promotional price is uh, $2,500. The payment option, you can pay cash check or direct deposit. If anybody wants, um, if anybody pay up from the entire course fee, there will be additional 10% dis uh, discount. So if anybody wants to pay during the enrollment, the entire course fee, the total amount would be $2,250. If somebody wants to pay monthly installment basis, they'll also have the option. So we have a breakdown. So whenever, if you choose this option, definitely you have the option. No need to pay everything upfront, but you, you won't be entitled any kind of discount if you choose the monthly payment option. So what kind of, uh, uh, so once we finish the course, we provide job assistance to the students. What does it mean job assistance? So the assistance includes the following. We're gonna prepare the resume for you. We'll help you to prepare for the interview. We're gonna post the resume in the jo online job portal. And we're gonna introduce you to our, some of the preferred job recruiter. Because we have a network, we know a lot of job rec recruiter. So we're gonna help you to introduce with the recruiters. So in order to receive the job assistance. so not everybody is going to get the job assistance what you have there's certain condition you need to meet so a student who has scored more than 80 percent in the exam so we have exam if all of you score 80 percent more than 80 percent in the exam first first goal second you need to complete all the homework we're going to give you the homework you need to finish the homework on time you need to complete all the lecture notes we're going to provide you the reading materials lecture notes you need to complete those and the final end of the course, there will be a project on automation testing. You need to complete that project. So if you finish all these criteria, definitely you will have a chance of getting a job like 90 to 100%. So you're gonna get a job right away once you finish the course, if you feel full, fulfill our condition. Once you get a job, if you take our job assistance, if once you get a job, you need to pay 60% of your first month salary. So whatever salary comes up, we don't know. If you get a job, the, we'll do the calculation. 60% 60 60 of the first month salary you need to pay us. And you will have the option of monthly installments. So that's the overall of our course. So I'll give the opportunity to everybody. If, if, if you have any specific question, I'll more than happy to answer you and try to clarify you. Because I want you today to take this opportunity to ask any question, any query you have in your mind so that you made a good decision in future. So one thing I'd like to share with you. So here, um, actually, LinkedIn, as you see, is one of the common job portal right now is um, uh, in, in the world right now. So I just searched with this software QA engineer in the United States. At this moment, the search results came up. Look at this number. 2,757 openings right now in all over the USA. And if you take a look at the company, so Apple is hiring, all the big companies, Tesla is hiring, all the big company, they have openings. So I'm just trying to give you the feel that what is the numbers? Somebody might ask, okay, what is the job opportunity I do have? How many jobs would you have right now in the job market? So this is just one platform. If you search in LinkedIn, you're gonna see how much position we have in the US market. So since all of your are looking, you're gonna look for a job in USA, definitely. So you know what you're looking for. And I would say this, um, this since our course duration is three months. So um, I, I don't know in USA, is there any course within three months, of course you finish the course and that will assurance, assure you to get a job with that amount of money. Because usually any course you do, maybe medical assistant, dental assistant, is the course situation basically a year long course or pharmacy assistant. And once you finish the course, you need to sit for the exam. You need to get the, pass the exam. Once you pass the exam, then you need to look for a job. There is no guarantee you're gonna get a job. And once you get a job, the salary would be like $17, $18 hourly, you wanna get a job. That's pretty much, I mean, that's the investment that they're putting. But Think about it, this, this field, even though if you don't have any computer science background, any IT background, but that will not blocking you to pursue your career in IT industry. And with the investment of three months time of your life, 
you are assuring for such a future that people can dream of because any other field you go for it is such a uh, time consuming you need to give a lot of time and effort and in return what you are getting i mean the salary wise i mean yes if you are happy with that particular salary that's perfect but i believe we all want to look for our career which is really paid a good hands up of salary and secure on our future even there is a recession i don't have to worry about it because the skill set i have i'm going to easily find a new job so that's the um, uh, key take takeaways from from this course and definitely and uh, this is not a typical university course, uh, courses uh, this is basically this course our ultimate goal to help you to get a job once you get a job then we can consider ourselves that we are successful until you get a job we going to continuously helping you out to any way we can to prepare you for the job market but as i said if you follow our course structure if you pass the exam if you do the homework if you finish the project there is no question that you're not going to get a job i mean we can certain that because having our experiences on this particular area we know what are the things is in the high demand in job market and those are the things we're going to teach in this particular course so please uh, feel free to ask me any question um i would be more than happy to give you answer um alom bhai do you have any question jake apu baso bhai please you can unmute yourself and you can ask me any question you have assalamu alaikum bhai jan ji wa salam yeah let's go one at a time so jake apu apne ki kono inquiry ache kono kichu jante chan specifically hmm ha amar mane kono computer science er por kono background nai ami ekhane school e job job kori ar ki so acha acha আমি এটা বলছি যে আমাদের আমাদের আসলে কম্পিউটার সায়েন্স ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড লাগবে না আপনার অ্যাজ লং অ্যাজ আর একটা আপনি কি ব্যাচেলর ডিগ্রি আছে হ্যাঁ আমি এখানে নাই মানে আমি বাংলাদেশ থেকে ব্যাচেলর ডিগ্রি করা আছে আচ্ছা স্যার আপনার বেসিক কম্পিউটিং নলেজ মানে ওইটা যদি আপনি থাকে স্কিল থাকে দ্যাট শুডেন্ট বি এনি প্রবলেম আর যেহেতু আপনি স্কুলে এখানে পড়াচ্ছেন আই বিলিভ ইউ हैव এ গুড কমিউনিকেশন স্কিল সো এই তিনটা জিনিস এখানে প্রি রিজার্ভেশন দিয়ে দিয়েছি তো এই তিনটা জিনিস আপনি যদি মিট করতে পারেন তাহলে আপনি ইজিলি এই কোর্সে আপনি এনরোল করতে পারেন কারণ আমি চাই যে আপনার জিনিসটা ইজি হোক কারণ জন্য ডিজিটাল ডিফিকাল্ট না হোক হ্যাঁ বুঝতে পারছি ওগুলো মানে কিছু কিছু জানি সবগুলো মানে পুরো অত ভালোভাবে জানি না আর কি এই আর কি समस्या as since mm -hmm. is week, weekend only so you have whole week enter week for you to prepare for the next lecture amon ki kora jay je week e ek din class nilam erokom ki kichu system ache na dui din e nite hobe na dui din e amader class to ashole tale to saturday sunday amader class apni jodi miss koren tale mane ami slowly na or kono upay oi nai ki etai apni na 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 eta to ashol shobar sathe amar jete hobe apnar jonno ek jonno jodi amra to eta stop korte parina acha bujhte parchi ওকে এটাই আমার क्वेश्चन ছিল আর কি ওকে শিওর নো প্রবলেম হ্যাঁ তারপর আলম ভাই কোন क्वेश्चन আ না আমি মেসেজ গুলো সব এখানে মেমো করেছি তো আর হলো ওই যে আমার সময় থাকবে আমি রেস্টুরেন্টে কাজ করতাম তো তো আগামী কয়েক মাসে রেস্টুরেন্টের চাকরি আর আসবে না বুঝছেন जब हान्टिंग 
আমাদের প্রশ্ন ছিল সেগুলো আপনি ব্যাখ্যা করেছেন অলরেডি ওকে গুড হ্যাঁ শিওর হ্যাঁ সেটাই আইও এটা আমরা কিন্তু ওই জব অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্টে হেল্প করতে হলে পাইতে হলে আপনাকে এক্সামে স্কোর করতে হবে আমরা যে এক্সাম নেব মেক শিওর ইউ স্কোর মোর দ্যান 80% আপনি হোমওয়ার্ক রেগুলার করছেন হ্যাঁ এক্স্যাক্টলি ওই জিনিসগুলো যদি আপনি ফুলফিল করতে পারেন ডেফিনেটলি উই ক্যান এসিওর দ্যাট ইউ আর রেডি ফর দ্য মার্কেট If you are not ready for the job market, there is no point. If, even though if we help you out, you're not going to make it. So, <laughs> yeah, I understand. So, Thank you. Uh, we, have Thank to, you. we have to assure you that you are uh, up to the uh, market level ready. So whenever you go to the job market, you're going to get the job ASAP. That's our belief. And IT is a lot of Din jai, totui IT dependent, or software dependent, dunia jai. Shutarang kaje rekta shujok thak bear ki. Na shete, shete. Ejo no bolam. Jashole even though apni jodi jobo na apan apni jee freelancing jee jini website gula se, ujhe na apni jodi nijhe ki too familiar koren, you gonna get a lot of opportunity from there. So one one um, word is, if you have IT experience, there will be no issue of making money. So that's the ultimate. outcome so especially if you know something demanding which is really in high demand in the market there will be no issue for you not to earn good amount of money ji ar baki ta holo je ta ami message korechi eta apnar sathe mane pore email e jogajog korbo ar ki ha amader team apnar sathe follow up korbo ajke apnar the shobar sathe amader team follow up ami inshallah ei class ta nibo ar oi je texas er je moni bhai er kotha bolchi रहमान खालेद আচ্ছা ভাই ক্যারি অন আই টেল ইউ লেট দুইজন খালেদ ভাই আচ্ছা প্লিজ খালেদ ভাই যে বলতে যাচ্ছেন বলেন চলো স্যার হ্যালো খালিদ আইপ্যাড হ্যাঁ ওই খালেদ ভাই আপনি বলেন হ্যাঁ আসসালামু আলাইকুম রিফাত ভাই ফার্স্ট অফ অল নাইস প্রেজেন্টেশন खालिद भाई समस्या <laughs> আপনি কোন কোশ্চেন আপনি ইফ ইউ ফিল ফ্রি বিট গিভ মি আ কল আই উইল মোর দ্যান হ্যাপি টু এক্সপ্লেইন ইউ মোর ইফ ইউ नीड এনি মোর ইনফরমেশন ইনশাআল্লাহ ভাই এটা দিব লাভ তাহলে কি আর কারো কোন কোশ্চেন হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে ভাইয়া थैंक यू আর কি জি थैंक्स ফর জয়নিং টু দ্য সেশন হ্যাঁ তাহলে আপুর সাথে রিচ আউট করবে আমাদের অ্যাডমিন টিম আপনার সাথে প্লিজ আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ ট্রাই করব অবশ্যই আর কি দেখা যাক আজকে
শান্ত ভাইয়ার কি কোন কোশ্চেন আছে চলতেছে এরকম একটা প্ল্যাটফর্ম নিয়ে সবাইকে এরকম সাপোর্ট করছেন একটা ডিফারেন্ট জব লেভেলে যাওয়ার জন্য সেজন্য মানে রিয়েলি অনেক বড় কাজ করছেন থ্যাংক ইউ ভাই আমার একটা প্রশ্ন ছিল ভাইয়া আমি আমার তো ম্যাকবুক আছে তো ম্যাকবুক আপনার যত রোগ সমস্যা আমি শুনলাম না সব ধরনের সফটওয়্যার নাকি ইনস্টল করা যায় না ম্যাকবুকে আপনি যদি আপনি কি স্টপ করতেছেন আপনার ম্যাকবুক কেন আপনি যদি লিনাক্সও থাকে শুড বি ওকে এটা প্ল্যাটফর্ম ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট আমরা যে টুল গুলো ইউজ করি এগুলো সব ওপেন সোর্স ইটস সাপোর্ট ইন অল দি প্ল্যাটফর্ম সো देयर শুডেন্ট বি এনি ইস্যু ওকে থাকলে <laughs> এভরিওয়ান <laughs>